Hey everyone, so I've been getting a lot of questions about Kickstarter from people unfamiliar with it. Just asking kind of, hey, what is this? How do I use it? So I want to see if I can clear some of that up for you today. You'll see I'm right now on the Kickstarter website. You can see up here, Kickstarter. And I am on my project page. Now I'm going to show you a quick way to get here to get us started. But I just wanted to start out by telling you what Kickstarter is and showing you this page because I know I don't like going into anything I don't understand. So Kickstarter is crowdfunding and it helps launch projects, in this case my book. Kickstarter is all or nothing, meaning I set what, what maybe was an ambitious goal. I felt like it was a realistic goal because I felt like there were a lot of people excited about the book with me, but the goal is... Uh, $7,000 and that goes mainly to cover books uh, and you know the cost of the rewards that I've built into things and it also gives me a head start on having books in stock in the future so that's the main thing that money's going toward it also helps cover time that I've put into the book building up into this it helps cover investment in my book cover uh, other expenses like printing drafts and other things so things associated with making the book. So that's kind of what Kickstarter is. It helps fund that. Like I say, it's all or nothing. So we've got 10 days left to make this happen. I apologize. I made the window a little bit short uh, for this Kickstarter because I want these books to ship in time for Christmas. And so that's why I made the window as short as I did, because I wanted to both make sure the book was truly ready and make sure it could get to you in time for Christmas. So this is the Kickstarter uh, main page for my project and so I'm going to show you how to find it and then I'll give you the tour of the page so let me pull up a fresh window here we've got kickstarter.com so kickstarter.com hit enter and that'll take you to the Kickstarter page I've also posted this link in a number of places for you to get to and so when you get to this page You've got, you know, you've got other Kickstarter projects on the front page. You've got topics and stuff. What you're going to want is the search bar in the upper right. And you'll click on that search bar. And then the easiest thing to search is, you guessed it, inflatable stories. You could also search the book title. Uh, and you'll notice when we search inflatable stories, it's the top hit. The Twisted Tale of Adam and Eve inflatable stories. So I'm going to click this right here. And this opens up my page where we just were. So once we're back on my page, you'll see a lot of options here. It says back this project. Uh, if you click right here, you'll see the video that I made for the page, uh, which I was able to do a little, a little better quality on that than I was able to do on the live Kickstarter event for those of you who participated in that. Uh, and you can scroll down the page and you see lots of options. And these are where I believe, yeah, when we click back this project, uh, it goes to just the rewards, which you can also see on that main front page. So I'm going to show you where those are on the front page as well. I've still got it open in this other tab. When we scroll down the other page, you'll see a description of my story here in the middle. A little FAQ with some questions you may have. Uh, and as we scroll down the right side of the page, we see all these dif different options for support. Uh, you know, you can just say, hey, I want to give a few bucks to help make this happen. But honestly, I'm excited about people getting rewards and getting these books and stuff. So I'm really hoping you'll at least do a level where I'm able to send you a book and let you enjoy reading it because I hope it will be a blessing to you. Uh, and as you go down the page, you'll see lots of options. Uh, some of them, like this paperback two-pack, is really, a, I consider it a great deal, honestly. Uh, but I love the hardcovers. That's actually what I'm mostly investing in because they've got the endurance. So you've got one hardcover book. And as you scroll down through them, the, the pledge levels go up. You've got options with my old book and my new book. Uh, options with multiple copies of either or both books, options with an Inflatable Stories t-shirt. We've got a cool birthday option here where I'll do a custom video for 
you know, a kid or, or for that matter, hey, I'm not judging if you want a personal customized birthday video from Inflatable Stories. Much love to you for that. Uh, so as we go down, they get bigger and, you know, four paperback copies of each book. Also, I think a really good deal. Five hardcover books. You save some money uh, by getting them all together at that reward level. And it's more books that, you know, you can, you know, I don't know that you would need five copies of my book in your library, but you might have five people that you love that you want to give copies of the book to for Christmas. Uh, as we go down, uh, you know, we've got a different mix of things as we go uh, down near the bottom. Uh, I've got some options that come with a whole lot of books and like a custom canvas print. Uh, so if you're just like, hey, I love inflatable stories, I want to support it big time, and I think it would be cool to have a really unique piece of art on my wall, then you've got some options to get a custom canvas print of some shots from the book. So that's pretty cool, especially at this level. You know, it's pretty high up there. I mean, you're a huge supporter if you get up here. But if you do go for this level, you're going to have 10 of each book. Um, you know, you're going to have 10 t-shirts, you're going to have this up to 35 by 40 canvas print for the book, so you've got lots of options. And then if you're like, hey, I just want inflatable stories in my city, we've got an option for that as well, that you get, you know, basically, you know, it amounts to basically one of everything, and plus, you know, we make plans for me to come see you and share a program where you are. So there's all sorts of levels here. Uh, but you really came here to find out, okay, how do I support this project? So those were the different reward levels. I'm going to click back this project again to take me just to those. And just for just for the sake of demonstrating it, I'm going to see if I can create an account for you right now. Understandably, it doesn't let me back my own project. Uh, but I'm going to create an account and back it, and then I'll just attempt to undo what I've done later for my own record keeping. Uh, so I'm just going to go with the big thank you on social media uh, that that I'm I'm just going to let people know how much I appreciate you later. And you'll have a chance. They'll be uh, after everything fully funds. And your credit card is not charged unless this thing fully funds. But after it fully funds, uh, when your credit card is charged, I will send you what they call a backer survey give you a chance to answer questions and if you're like hey I don't really want you to mention my name uh, then that's fine just put it in your backer survey or if you're like hey I kind of hoped you'd you know tag my social media when you shared that's cool too uh, you'll have a chance to share that in the backer survey uh, so I'm gonna hit continue here and we've got an option to log in over here or continue with Facebook or create an account uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right here and see if see if it lets me do everything um, And I may have to edit the video to make this a little bit more pleasant for you at this point, but I'm just gonna Let's see let me one more time You see that you put the email address in twice. I'm gonna create a really weak password but I'm not gonna tell you what it is I think I can remember it long enough to delete this account uh, you can sign up for Kickstarter emails and stuff if you want to uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and click create account and all of a sudden we are on Kickstarter relatively painless as long as you've got an email address and on a side note it's always a good idea to have a password manager because the password i just used is not one i would ever want to use on a real account so when you get to this page it'll want your credit card info uh, which you know obviously i'm not going to type all that in in front of you uh, just because while many people watching this video are people i know and love and can trust who knows what sort of folks might wander in uh, just happening across the video. So, you know, credit card safety, friends, always a good idea. But then when you get to this point, if you click pledge, 
then you are mostly done. I believe the next page would be a confirmation screen, which I can't walk through with you right now, but do make sure you check everything and make sure you get through to the very last screen because if you don't, your Kickstarter support won't actually come in and we won't be working toward that goal. So thanks so much for watching my video. We have got a good ways to go. So I would be honored for you to jump in and support this. Please share it with friends and family who might also want to support the Twisted Tale of Adam and Eve. It's, it's been a fun project and I hope it won't be the last of these projects. So please jump in here with me. Help make this thing happen. Have an amazing day. Thanks. Bye.